Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about the enterprise keywords, which is a very nice way of tagging information that's available all over your enterprise or your tenancy. And I'm going to talk about the connection of those enterprise to the, the regular tags, which can be found in the file system. I have a bunch of files here, some example of images. Nothing strange with those images, but they are tagged. If I go into properties here, you'll see that they have details here. They have a little bunch of tags on each of these. So if I, before start importing my data into this, if I go into library settings and uh, enable the enterprise keywords, and then I go in and import all the files, and now it's 272 files, and I'm gonna be importing, so I'm gonna open with Explorer to import those files. Now I'm just gonna import those. I do um, Windows right key and Windows left key to have those next to each other. Then I do Control A to select all of them. And the beautiful thing now is that if I just copy the, these pics over, they will actually get the tags also. And the only reason they do that is, of course, well, there are two reasons. The images here ha have tags, and sometimes you might have information in your file system that has tags. Or you might have a third-party application that writes tags, or you've done some office templates. Anyhow, if you have tags on your files and you import them by drag and drop, or via the Windows Explorer like this, they will get filled out into the Enterprise Keywords fields. So I'm going to go into all pictures here and modify this view so that we can actually see the um, enterprise keywords being filled in. And one of the beautiful things now is that these enterprise keywords are of course available for tagging wherever in your organization. So if I go into my admin here and find the SharePoint Admin Center, I'll go into the Term Store and here are the keywords. There they are. You see these are the keywords being generated now or being picked up from the file system. So if you have files with tags, this is an interesting way to do it. Just add your metadata keywords column to your library and start importing the files and all the tags will be included. Other things like date modified and who uh, modified the file file permissions, those things are not included in your drag and drop, but the tags are. You'll also notice that these files have a um, file name and that they have another title. So title is a file property also. Under details here you have a title and that's going to get filled out also. Here you see if I go back to the thumbnails, which show the title by default, you'll notice that the title also get, gets picked up. So that's one way of thinking of, you know, how am I going to import my files, fill out the tags, and fill out the titles already in the file system. That's one way to make sure that your SharePoint data becomes good information. All right, so that uh, concludes my demonstration on what gets imported from the file system in terms of tags and titles. Thank you for watching this demonstration.